welcome to welcome to interview questions on statistics using an example explain the distinction between population and sample so what are these terms population and sample when it comes to your data science when we extract the data or when we receive the data from the experiment or whatever the survey that we have conducted so we try to perform some sort of analysis or some kind of research on that data so in order to do that these two terms are very important or you could say they play a very important role in doing so so let's look at them one by one let's look at what is population first so population is basically the it's a collection of entire data set right it's a collection of elements from the entire data set which we get so that whole data which you get at the initial stage that whole data is we generally call it as a population itself so it's a collection of all elements from the entire data set and we generally try to make some analysis and research on this data we are supposed to do the research or analysis on your population itself and if you are using some sort of characteristics of this population like for example if you are trying to uh, find the mean median median or the mod so these terms with respect to population they are called as population parameters now when it comes to your sample so sample is generally a, called as a subset of population or you could say it's actually derived from your population data itself so we take some data from the population that some data is nothing but which is called as sample itself so we use this sample so we make generally make predictions or inferences on that whole population using the sample data so generally it's not very convenient to actually perform predictions or inferences on the whole population as it would be time consuming and it's not very cost effective so to make it more efficient we use this technique of sampling or we would take some samples of data then perform predictions and inferences on that data so that is nothing but your sample data and any characteristics you use for that sample like the mean median mod they are generally termed as sample statistics so to give you an example let's take an example of a it company who want to conduct some sort of survey so let's say we have a it company which has four departments so we have it company it has four departments so let's say it has sales then hr and security and then probably your maintenance so let's say for example these are the categories and let's say each department has about 2000 employees so each department right so what are these 2000 so each a department we are just assuming that each department has 2000 employees so total we have about 8000 employees so this 8000 is termed as population and this 2000 in each employee or in each department this is termed as your sample so we have a sample of 2000 from the original population itself where your 2000 is uh, with respect to each and every department so let's say we want to conduct a survey where we are trying to relocate the company to a different location so we want to take review from each and every employee i mean we want to take review from the employees so instead of taking review from all 8000 we just take a few samples we take a few samples of probably about 100 so we take the sample in such a way that this 100 should have all the members from the other department all the other departments so it should have all the employees from all the departments only that would make it a fair review or a fair feedback you could say so generally this will be we will be able to capture or you will be able to cover all the departments and you would get a proper unbiased feedback about whatever we are trying to analyze so yes these numbers that we have here 2000 8000 these are nothing but your population and sample and again we are taking another sample of 100 
right so we are trying to take feedback from that 100 which will be representation of your whole population so this is one of the examples for or difference between your population and sample 